Greetings, my good people of this beautiful place we call Sconville. Welcome on down to another edition of What's Trending. Minister Mushroom trending right now, and his stories stink and dirty. Pip the intro quick and let me wring the juice out of this skin. Hey, something ever surprise you like when you see Jagala what? Before we get started, give me a like the pony like button. And if you're new to the scuns, press the subscribe button so you can get updates from this channel. Now, let me bite into this story with Minister Mushroom. A while back, there were some leaked screenshots circulating of a conversation between him and a little thing he was planning to hook up with during an official trip to New York. A part of the exchange between him and the young lady was his mushroom. If you're a member of the underworld, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, as much as this story was scandalous and we had a good laugh, we didn't follow it up because quite frankly, it was nobody's business. But we started keeping a closer eye on Minister Mushroom. A little while after that incident, he told an opposition member of parliament during his speech that she needed a dildo. In, um, you gotta get a dildo, that's, that's what you're looking for. Despite widespread condemnation for this comment, there was no reprimand for Minister Mushroom. Moving on to a little while after that, we received reports that he impregnated an underage girl from an indigenous community, then assaulted her after she initially refused to have an abortion. In the midst of us trying to ascertain whether these allegations were true, the folks suddenly went silent. It was rumored that they received hush money. Now you would like to think that the bucket bend and the story end, but hear this new piece of scunt hey! A 16-year-old schoolgirl in an open letter to the president has alleged being groomed, preyed upon, and sexually assaulted by the minister of local government, Nigel Daramlal. News source made repeated efforts to get a comment from the minister today. Both of his known numbers went to voicemail on several occasions. There are reports that the president and the minister of education have both been made aware of the allegations. A senior education official reached out to the girl today to set up a meeting with the education minister, New Source has learned. In the letter which was seen by New Source, a teenager detailed being allegedly contacted by the minister of local government via WhatsApp and Facebook and conversations taking place between the two. She also detailed meetings that allegedly took place at the minister's office and financial gifts being thrown at her by him. She also detailed being taken to the home of the minister and allegedly being forced to perform sexual acts by him and eventually being allegedly sexually assaulted by him. In the letter she said she was raped and left feeling broken after the alleged incident at the home back in December. The teenager attached various messages from her phone and social media accounts that were allegedly sent to her by the minister. She complained of being hounded down by him repeatedly with phone calls and messages. She also said that before the alleged sexual assault, herself and other teenage girls had been warned by two other government officials about him. In a statement, President Finale said while he has seen the reports of the allegations, he has not received any formal complaint. However, he noted that any complaint will be fully investigated by the relevant authorities. But I've seen the, uh, the posts on Facebook and everything. Okay. And as, as I have said to Newsroom, my position on the, this, these matters are very clear. I don't condone or tolerate any behavior like that. And uh, once any facts is established, they, uh, anyone found guilty uh, of any misconduct will be held accountable. But having seen the allegations, sir, um, even if a report is not made, do you intend to ask the minister to step aside to allow for a proper investigation to be done? No, but, but mostly, once, that's what I'm saying, once the facts is established and a report is made, then I will ha then I'll, I'll be, I'll have to take the necessary action. But as of now, what I have is the post that all everybody have. Minister Mushroom is back on the front burner. I must say, this young lady reached out to us a while back before this story broke out. She detailed her encounters with Minister Mushroom, which suggests a textbook case of grooming and sexual assault. He even destroyed her bamsey pleats, according to her. We were debating internally how to move forward with this story, which is sensitive due to her age. Then, BAPS, an open letter is published to the president. The young lady said that one of the women she confided in issued that letter against her wishes. 
Then I saw a Facebook post that suggests that she might have collected a bag just like the one who got impregnated and beaten, allegedly. We have her on record telling her story, but it is not our place to force the issue. If she got paid off and does not want to pursue justice, it's her BT Pleats mother's scud, not mine. Let's debate in the comments. Do you think this matter is worth investigation or do you think all the allegations against Minister Mushroom are baseless? Also, why do you think the president is waiting for an official complaint before he takes action? Is there any avenue for persons who are assaulted by government officials to get justice? Which police will investigate? Let me know in the comments and let's keep the conversation open. Hold up.